Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good week. I was getting ready this morning and I was kind of inspired to do a video and it's basically on products that I'm wearing right now. Um, and it's a video for people who maybe don't have a lot in their makeup collection. Um, very probably minimalist people, people who get really intimidated and bombarded when they go into Sephora and they don't know what to buy. Um, I often get questions about people who are going shopping because they're either going back to work or they just need to update um, kind of what's in their makeup kit. And they're wanting to know um, what they should get. So I have just a little basket of products in front of me. And it's not necessarily meant to be budget friendly. It's just what I recommend, either low end or high end. Um, if, if this was all you had in your makeup kit, just the bare essentials, that this is what I would recommend for you. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. If I only had one eyeshadow palette... For the rest of my life, I could comfortably live with this one. So it comes in a warm and cool. And today on my eyes, I am wearing Stark and Frisk. So the two kind of mid-tone shades here. And then I'm wearing the lightest um, in the uh, inner corners of my eyes. Really easy. And to smudge out a liner, I have uh, the Lancome Bronze Riche Eyeliner. So what this is, is a twist up. And you can just messily, um, you don't have to be, you know, perfect at this, especially with the light shades and the eyeshadow palette. You're just going with a fluffy brush back and forth. Um, line your lids with this, and then you can just messily um, smudge it out. It doesn't have to be perfect, because by the time you smudge it, you're going to be able to smudge it to perfection anyways. And whatever you miss, you can kind of clean up with a Q-tip if you need to. So I highly recommend getting a nice... Um, creamy, rich eyeliner like this that you can easily manipulate and smudge out. Um, you can see my eyes and it's just a really easy, clean, kind of everyday look. Um, mascara, you know how I feel about drugstore mascaras. I think that that's kind of a place where we don't need to spend uh, money. There's such great drugstore options. I love the L'Oreal Miss Manga, as I've mentioned, and the new Lash Paradise. Um, I'm going to go in no particular order here. I'm just kind of grabbing what I have. Um, I mentioned in my last video how much I love the Real Techniques sponges. Um, so instead of a beauty blender, you can use something like this to apply your foundation with. Now for foundation, I would definitely say um, to go and get color match. There's, I don't know, I don't find the value in looking for your shade in the drugstore and possibly coming out with something way too pink or too dark or you know, too yellow. I think that it's almost invaluable to go and get a proper color match. Um, you know that I love the Urban Decay Naked Skin, but definitely go to Sephora, get a color match, um, pick maybe your three top foundations that you want to try, and go home and play with the samples and see what you like best for your skin and the finish that you like. For a natural glowy finish, um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin really does it for me. I used to use the Makeup Forever, but I found it fine at the Urban Decay. Um, sorry guys, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. My allergies are just horrible. I find that the Urban Decay just has a little bit more coverage, and it just gives a really pretty finish. So right now that's like my top um, foundation that I love. For primer, um, I know that Rimmel has a new... I think it's new, Stay Matte um, Primer. I've not tried it. I don't know how good it is. You can, um, you can mess around with that in the drugstore and see if there's any primers that you like. Um, I have tried, I think it was the Maybelline I tried, and I don't know that I really noticed any sort of difference. I do like this Sephora Beauty Amplifier Primer. It's, uh, it's kind of a dupe for the um, Hourglass that I use, but it's kind of pearlescent like that. And it's hydrating, so if you're a little bit dry, it's it's nice to lay under your foundation for sure, and it's $20, so you can't go wrong. The next thing I'll talk about is blushes. So, again, I mean, there's lots that you can find at the drugstore. I know NYX has some nice ones. Um, if I'm going to recommend a drugstore one, I think I would go with the Milani. So the Milani Luminoso is a really good dupe for, um, for NARS Orgasm. And then there's this hot pink one that I love. It looks very scary, but if you, you know, go in with it really softly on your brush, um, it really livens up your cheekbones. Sometimes the scariest colors like this are the most beautiful when they're on and sheared out. Um, 
lip liners. I think everyone should have a lip liner in their makeup bag. Um, my favorite of all time, I think, has to be the Lancome Bronzel. I love Lancome and Dior bron um, bronzers, lip liners, the best, because they stay all day. I find that the um, MAC ones wear off very quickly, so I don't tend to buy those. But it's just like this. It is the most natural color. I'm wearing it right now. Um, it's just very easy. Um, it doesn't look too much like a liner, you know? It really does blend in with your lips, your natural color. For lipsticks, I have a couple options here. This is the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick in Party in the Buff. I'm wearing this one right now. This one seems to never make it to my purse. It's just always at my makeup table, and it's just kind of the first thing that I put on in the morning, but I'll put it next to the liner. This is a great lipstick, and it's so cheap. Really pretty nude. Um, another option I brought out was MAC Blankety. So again, if you're just looking for the you know, the basics in your bag. This is what I'm telling you to do. So MAC Blankety. Love that one. For brows, um, if you're somebody who doesn't touch your brows, you can always go in with the Maybelline Brow Fiber Gel like this. If you're somebody who does, fill them in as I do. Um, I love the Anastasia. That's what I would recommend. Um, if you were going to do kind of a liquid eyeliner, I've always used the Revlon Colorstay and actually the e.l.f. I was searching in my drawer for my e.l.f. Um, liquid liner and I couldn't find it. They have a, it's a really thick liner pen and it's super cheap again, it might be like $3 and it is so easy to do winged liner with, um, with that big pen. So um, give that a try if you're, especially if you're kind of new at doing winged liner and you're kind of shaky and uncomfortable. I find that it's almost foolproof. It's super easy to use and really forgiving too. Um, you guys know that I use a pretty heavy duty um, under eye concealer. I usually go with the corrector and then my Urban Decay um, under eye concealer. But for most people who don't have, and I know that it doesn't translate on camera, I've watched back my makeup videos, and you cannot see how dark it is on camera, I suppose, because of the lighting, which is good. But it's actually quite brown under there, which is why I do um, the corrector. But if you don't have any problems like that, then you can get away with just the Age Rewind um, in light, just to bring that brightness to you. Um, if you do want a brightening effect, you can uh, buy the pink one, the Radiant, I think it is, and you can just dot it right along where the dark darkness is and just pat it in with your finger so you're not moving the product and then go over top of it with your regular concealer and you'll get a brightness coming through. I brought out this lip gloss. I've talked about this before. This is Nude Illusion um, and they're the Maybelline New York ones like this. I love these glosses. So I wore it in one of my makeup tutorials, a brighter one. This is just a nude one, but they are the most comfortable glossy on your lips. They're great. Okay, so for brushes, that's like something that a lot of people get very overwhelmed about. Um, this one's just a little elf. I think they call it their blush brush. Um, you could definitely, it's a little small for a blush brush, but you definitely could. I use it to set my under eyes. Um, I, I didn't bring out a powder, and I'm not going to really recommend a specific powder. I think that you kind of have to find your preference. I love the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, but every single day I wear um, my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder under my eyes in my T-zone, and then I use the... Um, Rich Vanilla Mineral Power Powder by Laura Mercier. So you're going to have to kind of find what powder you like to set your foundation with. Um, if foundation even is just too far fetched for you, you can go in with a BB cream and then a powder over that. You can customize it how you wish. Um, this one's also an e.l.f. It, it could be used as an all-over powder brush or to wipe away the excess under your eyes. And then, of course, the Real Techniques brushes. You could use this one... Um, to apply your foundation with, um, a bronzer one, an all-over powder one, you can use this. This is actually, um, it's a blush, but all of them, they're just multitasking brushes. You can do whatever you want with them. So if you don't have brushes or you don't have many, um, starting with that, um, the Real Techniques is, is just a good way to, to kind of build your makeup kit. So this is very basic, not um, a super long video. Let me know in the comments if you're somebody who gets overwhelmed at Sephora um, and if you're trying to build your makeup kit and I will definitely try to help you out. And I hope that you saw something here that you liked and I will hopefully be back very soon with another video. Take care. Bye.